So here's the question of the day. Is anything possible? This is what some guy at work asked me all of a sudden out of the blue. Is anything possible? I don't know what he meant by that, but it got me thinking. Certainly there are things we know are possible and things we know are impossible, and then there's stuff we don't know, and, and um, it's just how the world works. And the thing is, sometimes we can be su surprised. Things that look like they're probably impossible, there actually is a way to do it, but un only under very narrow circumstances. And so you might say, oh, it is possible. But the thing is, then you could reword it and say, okay, but it is possible if you do it this way, but it's not possible to do that thing if you do it any of these other ways. Or is it? Because maybe there is a very narrow thing even within those ways that could do it too. So I'll give you an example so you know what I'm talking about. Um, and this be... So let's say you want to build uh, some powerful magnets to, to do some particular thing. Let's say you want to build a particle accelerator. But your magnets, in order to be strong enough, well, they, they, they overheat and stuff because of the resistance. The, the, you know, they're electromagnets, and the electricity going through to create it creates a lot of resistance, creates a lot of heat. It overheats. It's like you can't do it. So it's like you can only do it... Um, by creating a lot of heat. It can be done, yes, but only by creating a lot of heat. Wait, but that's not quite true either. Because if you first cool the metal down cold enough that the electricity is going through, it will go into a superconducting state where there's no resistance because the electrons actually link up into Cooper bears. And so actually you can do it without creating a lot of heat under very narrow circumstances. But then, of course, the thing is, well, it still has to be cooled down a lot, and that's expensive. You need some sort of, like, liquid helium coolant or something to, to make it run. But that might not be true either, because they have been working hard on trying to find uh, materials that will enter a superconducting state at much higher temperatures, perhaps even at room temperature. And the thing is, we don't know all the possible ways that molecules can combine. It's so complicated. The, the possibility space is so large that even our biggest computers haven't simulated everything yet. And even then, our simulations are imperfect. They don't quite match the real world. So we don't really know without testing these things out. And there's just so many things that haven't been tested. But scientists do believe that eventually we're going to find a superconductor that operates at room temperature, and then we can do it. Now, suppose they do it. You could still say, okay, but you can only do it because, uh, you know, in that particular way, using that particular material. You can't do it using this other material. It won't work. Or could it? You see, you see the pattern yet? You see where I'm going? Instead of saying either... Um, only very particular things are possible and everything else is impossible. Or the other way, saying everything is possible. It could be that the structure of reality is actually fractal, in a sense. And therefore, um, <clears throat> you can never quite resolve that, uh, that question with a, with a solid answer. Because it's like anything you say would be incomplete. There'd be an exception or an, ex an exception to the exception and so on. And the best you could do is give a very rough approximation. And so is everything possible? I don't know. I'm just suggesting that, that m there might not be an answer to that. And, uh, and it's this sort of fractal structure to nature itself uh, that I actually touch upon briefly in uh, my latest book, When Nothing Seems to Work, which is available on Amazon. Uh, links in the description. It's, uh, it's a good book. 
Uh, until Christmas, the Kindle version will be uh, three dollars. If you wanna, you wanna get that quickly, uh, get that for Christmas, um, and uh, eventually uh, that's gonna go up. And so, should check that out. Uh, I actually don't get into that specific itch issue, but I I kind of touch on similar things around it. And I thought, this is an interesting thing, an interesting thing to talk about. So please, you know, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit all the things, you know, do all the normal stuff that people tell you to do. But, but do it because I told you, because I'm awesome. And as always, thank you for watching.